moisture that's contained across the central and western side of the Gulf and fling it right across us. In the meantime, high pressure will be on the further move to the east. That gives us more of a south wind flow. Pretty light and variable winds for tonight. It's so not a big factor. And the extra cloudiness that will be rolling in can play a role in maybe reducing the amount of chill. So jacket's still in the morning, but when you get up, it'll be generally partly clear to mostly cloudy. I'm going to hold off on any kind of Friday rain until perhaps later in the day. We just need a few more hours to get the moisture levels to increase, and that just takes time. We can see that, however, by later in the day, where there can be a couple of patchy sprinkles. Also with south winds, the temperatures will be milder for your Friday and into the weekend as well. But this trend of increasing thick cloud cover, occasional rain, it's with us on Saturday. It's not as extensive as last Saturday's rain, but I'd say western two-thirds of the region, tri-state area in particular, you can see passing showers. All of us will have a better chance for one big dose of rain to pass through through Sunday morning into the late day from west to east. It's not going to be a two-day non-stop rain event, but it can be a period of time where you can get a soaking. You can get some gustier winds ahead of that line for primarily Sunday, I'd say mid-morning to mid-afternoon. That's the timing as it stands now. That can be adjusted as forecasts usually change and just limited severe weather concerns, but we should know about the chance for some stronger wind gusts and perhaps maybe one tornado, but still some details to work out in regards to that. We'll let you know as we find out more. Morning temperatures start off in the 40s. By sunrise, you could be right around the mid 40s as temperatures may actually increase a little bit and on their way into the mid and upper 60s for forecast highs tomorrow, perhaps even a 70 degree reading in the Suwannee Valley. For boaters, you'll get that southeast wind averaging upwards of 6 to 16 knots in the afternoon. Tomorrow sees building from 1 foot to 2 feet by then. The extended first to no forecast it does highlight that weekend rain again. Saturday, patchy, mostly western areas. Sunday, one dose for everybody. It covers at least 80% through different times of day. And then we go back into a drier spell. Some of those upper clouds will sneak back during the middle of next week. But we will have another cool down with 30s likely for Monday and Tuesday morning.